given the nature of the season, haven't played in a whole ton of kind of crunch time, close scenarios like this. What did you learn from how it played out? Um, that we have to get better at executing in crunch time, um, but that we shouldn't have been a crunch time game because we turned the ball over 18 times. Uh, and if you only score seven points in that quarter, it, it really makes it tough to, to get a lead and play with the lead. Um, but I think, um, you know, I also learned that uh, we need to be a little bit more tougher on our stops. And um, I wish I could have played a little bit deeper bench, uh, but I'd have to go with guys who have been in those situations before and, um, you know, are more comfortable to making plays in those situations. And yeah, I wanted to ask about the rotations because you played a decent amount of people, but it was really only six that played the bulk of the minutes. Was that a matchup thing? Was that a postseason prep type of thing? What was the decision? Uh, no, I think it was just more, um, I could feel the, the way the game was going. And I actually had concerns going into this game anyway. I just think you're playing a team for the fifth time, um, beat them uh, pretty handily um, each time. Um, I think, you know, when you clinch something, there is an automatic human nature to a, a young team like that's not maybe the most mature that like oh we're good and um you know so all of those things are going through my mind is like okay I hope that we still are able to kind of come in and take care of business and the way the game started I mean we gave up 26 fast break points I, I don't think we've ever given that many up in any game since I've been here um as a coach and so um our transition defense was really pretty abysmal um and so uh, I think what I learned is that there's some things that we still have to clean up and we still can get better at. Um, and I think we look at that every single day, whether it's a win or loss. And now we've got two weeks to kind of tighten some things up and get ready for this next kind of portion of the season. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask about the fast break points, but you kind of answered that anyway. So yeah. there Sorry. you go. Sorry. No, no problem. Um, I don't know if you know the answer to this yet, but be, basically based on what happened next week, is this the last game of the regular season for you guys? This or is, is there? Yeah, this that is. is. Okay. Um, so yeah, do you, I don't know if you ever think losing is good, but do you think an experience like this is going to benefit you guys in the playoffs? Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, yeah, no one wants to lose. Right. But like, it's all how we handle the loss. Right. So and I just told them that like, I hate losing, you know, um, if anybody who knows me knows I don't enjoy losing. I don't think anybody enjoys losing. Um, but I think that's how we handle it. It's kind of how we handle the army uh, loss earlier in the season. It's like, do we hang our heads and sulk and you know try to say like, oh man, it's all over? Or do we say, hey, we've got an opportunity here and really um, get better at some things and, and see what was taken away from us, um, how we can you know, fix or cover up any, you know, warts we might have moving forward. And, um, and I think it's, a, it's an automatic reset, right, that happened to us with Army. And then we also had a two-week kind of hiatus after yeah. that game. So it's kind of a similar situation. Um, and now we've got to come back out. And, you know, I have no idea what's going to happen with our conference tournament or anything like that. But, you know, one of the things we always tell our kids is we've got to control the controllables. And that's, I think, the most disappointing thing about tonight is, like, we were in control of finishing this out the way we wanted to, um, whether it was by one point or 20 points, we wanted to, to get that W. Mm -hmm. um, but without doing that, we still now have to switch pages because what you did these first, you know, uh, however many games did we play? 13 games, 14 games? I don't even know how many games. I think 12, 12 10 yeah. and 2, yeah. You know, um, <laughs> but what we did those first games now are, um, don't matter in the sense of you get your seating, but after that, everybody's zero zero and it all starts all over again. So yeah. um, what you really do on the 7th, the 11th and the 14th, hopefully it's, it's kind of what we can help to define the season going forward. Cause you're not going to remember this Holy Cross loss if you win a Patriot League championship. 